The Grand Master là một bộ phim mới với nhiều mong đợi bởi đạo diễn tài ba Vương Gia Vệ. Phim đã cần đến 6 năm hoạch định và 3 năm thực hiện. The Grand Master là một bộ phim hành động vĩ đại, lấy cảm hứng bởi cuộc đời của võ sư Kung Fu lừng danh Diệp Vấn. Câu chuyện trải rộng trong thời gian sóng gió của nền Cộng Hòa, vốn đi theo sự sụp đổ của vương triều cuối cùng của Trung Quốc. Một giai đoạn của sự hỗn loạn, chia rẽ và chiến tranh vốn cùng là thời đại kim hoàng của võ thuật Trung Hoa. Được thu hình tại những địa điểm tuyệt đẹp, bao gồm những thánh cảnh tuyết phù của miền Đông Bắc Trung Quốc và Nam Cận nhiệt đới, The Grand Master trình bày phần diễn xuất bởi một số ngôi sao sáng trói nhất của kỹ nghệ điện ảnh hiện thời, bộ ổ ba siêu quốc tế đóng vai chính trong phim. Gồm có Lương Trù Vĩ, Trương Tử Di và Cheng Chen, tất cả đều phải trải qua nhiều năm đầy thử thách huấn luyện công phu cho vai trò của họ. And so during the making of this film because you experience spiritually you, you reach at a level where you're comfortable of who you are and, and where you are right now because you went through a lot in your life personal career what uh, what not what sort of uh, experience can you share with the viewers that you experienced the challenges of making this film that you dealt in a way where you maybe 10 years ago you wouldn't be able to deal because of I wasn't able to do, do that 10 years ago because I don't have the wisdom and I'm not mature enough. I think this is the right timing. We have this idea of making this movie date back to 1996, I think. Really? Yes. Wow. When we are doing Happy Together in Buenos Aires, after Wong Kar wow. saw a picture of Bruce Lee on a magazine that showing in some bookstore in, in Argentina. And this, he has this idea of, he is really curious about who inspired this Kung Fu great. Mm -hmm. Who is the man behind him? So he said, Tony, uh, are we, uh, can we do a Kung Fu movie? I said, about Bruce Lee Master. I said, okay. That was, that was thick, that date back to 1996. That's amazing. Um, um, yeah, and, and, and what I think is this is the right timing for us to do. Yes. Both mature enough, uh, both reach a certain standard of technically the, uh, the skills and the wisdom to do it. I have to say the film is spectacular. The the picture, the color, um, the acting, the actors, the acting, your acting, and your co-star. Uh, please fix me if I pronounce your name wrong. Zhang Yi. Yes. Um, I thought she was very good. Very. Um, she took this role very well. Yes. Um, did you guys rehearse a lot before and during the production? Mm. We only rehearse the uh, action scenes. Okay. And for the drama, no. Because no. because we don't have uh, we don't have a script. Sc <laughs> we only have the scene for that day. Really? Yes. That's really hard to work here in the in the U.S. if you don't have the script like three months in advance, right? Mm, but not 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 much director work. But you're so way. used to that, right, Tony? I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that in Hong Kong or even in Asia, a lot of the directors they they their styles that they don't give up the script in advance or ahead. They give it last minute, so the actor has to be very spontaneous and quick on the mind and improvise a lot. Is that true? Uh, I think in the 80s, yeah, there's a lot of uh, working style like that, but it's, it's, not, it's not because of their 
cre creation style is because of the time. Mm -hmm. They don't have much time for that. They want to save more money for, for the production. So they, ha they have to do it really fast. And, and they are not well prepared and they start shooting the movie. So that's, that's is very different from Kawai. Mm -hmm. Kawai he is very well pre pre prepared. He knows what to do. He knows everything. But he just... Want to test your ability, maybe? Uh, not really. He just... <laughs> he just that's his style. Oh, OK. Yeah. And you're so used to, to his style of, of directing like that. You're, you're OK with it, right? Of course. I know I, I've been working with, him, or working with him for 20 years. That's amazing. And that uh, will build up a lot of trust. I never this, you know, our relationship is very strange. We know each other for 20 years, but we seldom met each other. Why? And we never talk on the set. I never, I never watch playback. When he said, OK, OK, then no, it's OK. Why is that, Tony? We don't need to talk. Somehow we just connect Tele in some way. Tele telepathic communication, that's what they yeah, call it. Yeah, when I was on set, after I saw the camera uh, angle, and uh, I know what he wants. Mm -hmm. Just. We, we just have this chemistry, <laughs> and that's why we've been, we've, we've, we've been uh, uh, getting along for, for so long. For so long. What do you want the Vietnamese people get out of this film after seeing The Grandmaster? What do you would like the Vietnamese fans of yours to know from this film? A long journey for you to make this movie. Is there any message, anything you want to share with the Vietnamese viewers? Mm. Around the world. I hope they 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 will uh, have a new concept in Chinese kung fu. Okay. And are you planning to come back to do drama series in the near future? No, I I think after all these years of uh, shooting and hard training, I need to take a very long vacation. <laughs> okay. I I really don't <laughs> want to make any movies in a in a short while. Yeah. I wow, well, no. <laughs> no more. Take a long break. <laughs> right, right. A long break. And uh, I hope, I always want to do comedy. And when we are doing promotion in, uh, uh, with Kawe in Korea, mm -hmm. we come up with an idea of, why not tr we, trying to, we try to uh, develop uh, action comedy? That'd because be I've been practicing uh, Kung Fu uh, that not? long time. Yeah. Why wasting it? Why not doing something why not? else? Yeah. And comedy is always something I really want to do. I haven't done comedies for a long, I long know, time. I know, we miss you in comedy. And drama, <laughs> I think, after all this year, I think drama is a little bit too much to me. Too heavy uh, Yeah, too heavy, too heavy. <laughs> you need, you need life, some you know, reality is already too heavy. I <laughs> yes, need something okay. to... Mm -hmm. Light you up, right? Right, yeah, right. especially happy. for the audience, especially for the audience. Yes. I want them to you know, see things in a different perspective to yes. make their life more happy. So why not making a comedy? Thank you, sir, so very much. And thank you so much for talking to us. And I wish you the best of the best. We watched so many TVB dramas back in the old days when you were, you did that TV, TVB drama where you married seven wives? Yes. So, you know that TVB drama so long ago in the 80s? Uh -huh. The character you played and you married seven wives. And right, right, right. That was like all time famous for Vietnamese uh, right. viewers that they love you from that show. From that. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that, that, that TV series very much too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>